Dear sir, I am a non-Muslim Hindu. I want to know about the Pharaoh and Dr. Morris Bukil story. Please tell me. I am very excited to know it. With the Manaj Das from Mushtabad, he asked the question on the Alida platform that you'd like to know the story of Dr. Morris Bukel and, and the Pharaoh and the Pharaoh. Maybe you may have seen my talk on Al Quran, should it be read with understanding? And in that talk, I did mention about the incidents of the Pharaoh and Dr. Morris Bukel. Dr. Morris Bukel was a very famous scientist who had got the French Academy Award in the field of medicine. He was selected to treat the mummy of Manapta. The mummy of Manapta is the pharaoh which is mentioned in the Bible in the book of Exodus. And when the mummy of that pharaoh was found, he was selected to treat or do research on it. So when he does his research and treats and he, he being a Christian, he knew the background that the Bible says that Moses, peace be upon him, along with the children of Israel, he goes away from Pharaoh's land and then later on Pharaoh chases him and Moses, peace be upon him, he parts the sea and when they when they cross the sea, Pharaoh follows and when Pharaoh follows and when Moses and the children of Israel, when they cross and when Pharaoh is in the midway, the sea again collapses and the complete army of Pharaoh, Pharaoh drowns and even Pharaoh drowns. He being a Christian, he knew this background. But when Dr. Morris Bukain goes to Saudi Arabia, one of the Muslims told him that what you have now, the mummy of Manapta of Pharaoh, it is nothing new for us because that is also mentioned in the Quran. Quran mentions in Surah Yunus chapter number 10 verse number 92 that we shall preserve the body of Pharaoh, of Pharaoh as a sign for posterity. So Dr. Morris Bukhil was shocked that and he read the Quran and he found that the Quran also talks about the same incidents. But the Quran goes a step further and says that Allah says in the Quran in Surah Yunus chapter number 10 verse number 92 that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala almighty God will save the body of Pharaoh, of Pharaoh as a sign for posterity. So who could have predicted that the body of the Pharaoh would be saved as a mummy? So this made Dr. Morris Bukhel read the translation of the Quran. After reading the translation, he was so impressed that he wanted to learn Arabic to understand the Quran better. But if you know original Arabic Loga Fosa, you can understand the Quran better. So Dr. Morris Bukhel at the age of 50, he learns Arabic as a language. And he finds out that there are hundreds of verses in the Quran which talk about science and they match with scientific facts. And he could not find a single verse of the Quran which is against scientific facts. Unlike the Bible, he being a Christian, he knows that there were many verses of the Bible which contradict with science. So much so that later on, after doing research, after learning Arabic, he writes a book by the name The Bible, The Quran and Science. And that book became very famous. And he proved there that this Quran has to be from God. And Alhamdulillah, though he accepted Islam, he did not make it public. But we know uh, through other sources, through his other Muslim friends, that he had accepted Islam, he used to pray regularly five times, but he did not reveal. Maybe he thought that keeping it a secret, he'll be able to do more benefit for Islam than saying it. So this was an incident I related in my talk, Al-Quran, should it be of understanding, showing the importance of learning Arabic as a language. So hope this incident inspires you, Brother Das.